Hey what's up guys, Alone here. So something rather huge actually happened yesterday. I finally managed to hit Grandmaster for the first time and it did actually happen on my Smurf account that I play mostly Symmetra on. I've never really liked completely one tricking so I've not been doing that. I've just been playing Symmetra mostly and I swap as soon as I realize it really isn't working or on maps where she's not really that great on like King of the Hill and such, I just spawned as another hero most of the time. I do though think it's important to know when your hero works and when people are just telling you to swap off just because they want something to blame. A lot of the times that when I was playing Symmetra I got told to swap off and just a bit after that I got a shield generator rolling or a teleporter and we just steamrolled and won. So this season I started the account on 3600 SR after placement and with a 74.5% win rate on Symmetra I am now at 4003 SR so just at the edge of Grandmaster. Now the overall reason to why I wanted to make this video is because I want to talk about the overall ranking up process and why I think I hit Grandmaster this season but not in the previous ones. So when I began playing Overwatch my aim was really not that great at all, I've been playing Call of Duty for a few years before this but never really seriously. When Overwatch came out I went really hardcore into getting good at the game because I just loved playing it overall. I actually used to be a really high rated World of Warcraft player when it comes to the PvP aspect of the game and I do believe that did help me quite a lot and I will explain why in just a minute. What makes Overwatch unique in an FPS genre is that even if you do not have the best aim you can climb with great game awareness. This includes heroes such as Reinhardt, Winston, Symmetra, Mercy, Junkrat and such. All heroes in general benefit from good game knowledge but there are some that are focused on the aspect more than others. And some heroes can be really strong only if you have really good mechanical skill. Though over time as I've played Overwatch my aim has for sure become way better and I'm not on par with people mainly DPS in the mid masters rank but in the lower masters is probably where I fit in. Now the reason why I did climb over that all the way up to Grandmasters is because of my game awareness and communication skills to lead a team and overall choice of what to do in what scenario is for sure the reason why I hit Grandmaster. Which is why I have a really good win rate consistently with Symmetra, she works completely off of game awareness and she's very strong to carry if you can execute your game plans really well. Just because a hero is not aim based does not mean it takes no skill. I think this is something that everyone says and maybe it's kind of a meme but it really isn't true. Not even close to it. Getting really good at Symmetra took me a long time of trial and error and you have to play the hero way differently in higher ranks compared to the lower ranks which you also have to get used to. Just quickly coming back to the World of Warcraft bit I was talking about earlier in the video, playing PvP at the higher tiers in that game required good communication and game awareness, executing plans without making mistakes and that's what Symmetra is all about as well. I also used to be the shot caller in World of Warcraft in my team which I still do in Overwatch as well with communication calling out targets and all that and that for sure helped me out. So basically what I'm saying is that I found a hero that fits to what I'm already good at and I think that's the best way to climb. Now listen, if you play this game and you only play Soldier 76 and then you really can't climb, then you should be playing all the other heroes in quick play or even in ranked just to see if you're actually secretly good at some other hero. If you only really play one hero ever and you never really go out of bounds or like three heroes, that's a problem because there might be a hero that you're secretly really good at but you just haven't tried it yet so go out and do that. Just to finish up the video I want to say that I was actually really happy about hitting Grandmaster, I've been trying for 6 seasons now to do it and it felt really good to finally reach it. I did not randomly either hit the rank which is a really good feeling because I've seen some people who went from like low diamond all the way to Grandmaster with not that many games played at all and then you're mostly thinking like oh maybe they were just lucky with the queues or play with another player who was just way stronger than themselves. But that's not the case for me, I went from Season 2 Platinum, Season 3 Diamond, Season 4 Master, Season 5 High Master into Season 6 Grandmaster. So my progression has been very steady. And that's how a ranked system should be to me and it has worked great at least in my opinion. Sure the game has its issues for sure but at least for me everything has been enjoyable. I hope that you guys feel the same and are still after 6 seasons finding joy in the game just like me. Now that's going to be it for this video, I thank you all for watching and my channel has all types of overwatch content if you want to check it out, but for now I'll see you all in the next one and take care guys.